Yo, what is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. I am your host, Logic Motion. It is May 3rd, 2024. Let's get into the gaming news. Let's get into our first story of the day, which is about League of Legends. So Vanguard just went live and League of Legends players are already claiming it's bricking their PCs. So if you don't know, Vanguard is just basically a anti-cheat solution, but it's more invasive than other anti-cheats like, let's say, uh, Battle Eye or Easy Anti-Cheat. Uh, this one is basically at the kernel level of your computer. So one of the stories that blew up on X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, basically says Riot is denying that Vanguard is bricking people's PCs and any kind of Vanguard discussion is banned from the sub. It's tampering with unrelated files, preventing startup programs from booting, causing other programs to crash, etc. All this was known and they still launched. Okay, so first things first is I do think it's super weird that they're removing or deleting uh, all posts that talk about the Vanguard anti-cheat bricking their computers. I think if they're confident in their product and they know it's not bricking computers, they should let people discuss it regardless. Regardless, right um, I think it's super weird uh, I don't play League of Legends and I don't play Valorant but from what I've heard I have some friends that play he was telling me that he had to have secure boot on his computer in the BIOS in order for him to play that game and I thought that was like ultra weird if a game ever told me I had to do that I probably just wouldn't play right so I don't know how much access Vanguard has but I, I just probably wouldn't play. But if the case is true of Vanguard bricking people's computers, it's it's not a good look. I, I don't think it's gonna hurt League of Legends. I'm sure some players will run away or stop playing for a while, but I think League of Legends is one of those games that's just, it's like too big to fail, right? So um, I, don't, I don't know if anything will happen from this. Obviously, we, we don't know if these claims are 100% true yet, just because people will rally behind anything, it seems like, on Reddit. This was shown recently in the uh, Helldivers community where I think there was uh, ricocheting bullets and people were saying, oh, all bullets are like ricocheting and uh, killing you or something like that. Or I, I believe it was uh, rockets were ricocheting and killing people, right? And... Uh, Someone made a post about it. It had like 8,000 upvotes and it turned out to not be true. It was debunked, right? So people will rally around things that they don't 100% know that's true. So I think we should wait for more information to come out. But I guess in this situation too, it's really hard to trust Riot because obviously they're going to be like, oh yeah, it's, it's nothing on our end. Why would they ever like show like guilt? You know, like, oh, oh yeah, it was on our end, right? So I don't know. It's a, it's a tough, it's a tough situation. And I just kind of too want to talk about just like anti-cheat in general. I mean, this is probably a really bad take, but like, I feel like a lot of PC games are plagued with cheaters. Like almost every single like multiplayer online, any PC game is just like plagued with cheaters, right? There's nothing you can really do about it. You can't really like get rid of all cheaters, right? You can only kind of just kind of catch them and then you know you get one wave you go to the next like there's always going to be at least one or two or 10 20 however many people are cheating in a game right there's no catch-all method um i think if it if we knew if we knew like there was a solution out there that would catch like let's just say like 98 percent of like cheaters right it was we knew it, it catches that many amount of cheaters uh, we know it's guaranteed. It's always going to do that. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. I think I would be more okay with a stricter anti-cheat that has access like this. But I don't, like I said, I don't play League of Legends. I don't play Valorant. So I don't know how bad the cheating problem is. And I don't know how Vanguard helps uh, prevent the, um, the cheating problem. But if I had numbers, I was like, let's say like there's 200 cheaters and Valorant or whatever, Vanguard's able to catch like 198 of them. I think I would be okay with it doing that if that was the case, um, if it was able to catch like 98% of cheaters, right? That's probably not the case. So I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to give up a bunch of access like that uh, of my computer. So I don't know. Like I said, that's probably, that's probably a bad take, but there's a lot of cheaters on PC games, uh, and it's it happens on console as well. But it's just it's just not as frequent. Um, it's it's a lot harder to cheat on console than it is to cheat on uh, PC. I mean, you have people that are cheating in Fall Guys, Call of Duty Warzone, like any like multiplayer game. Like there's there's probably gonna be a cheater. Um, like even like a fighting game like Tekken, people cheat in that. Like it's crazy. So. 
I don't know. That's my take on it. I do hope uh, something more official is like comes out just because, you know, you have a couple people online saying it bricked their computer. Some guy had to like remove his CMOS battery or whatever. And I'm not saying these people are lying, but you just never know on the internet and you just have to wait for more information. We just need more information on this. Okay, and our next story is about limited run games. So if you don't know about limited run games, they basically just make like these really cool collector's editions for like games that probably wouldn't be able to do it. Though recently it feels like some some companies are able to support a collector's edition on their own. It just seems like they go to limited run for them to do it instead as like a third party or whatever. But what it used to be is like, let's say like a game, like a really low profile game, like they're not really guaranteed physical copies or collector's editions like that. Limited run would uh, take those games and they would make physical editions. They would make collector's editions. They would have like a bunch of editions or whatever that you could buy. And then sometime later you would, you know, you would get shipped those. And it was, it was just like a really cool idea. So that's what limited run does. Um, but obviously it was limited. You it's like once a game is like done, like once they sell out, that's it. You know, and then sometimes it's like within a certain time frame and like that's it. <laughs> you don't you don't get another opportunity to buy those games unless you have like a Best Buy near you. And that's not always guaranteed either. So uh, the idea of it is really cool. There are some cool games that I've bought from limited run uh, Mother Russia uh was it wizards of legend uh, i recently just bought uh midnight fight express uh just because i really like those games and i want a physical version of them but uh to the point of the story is that basically what's happened is they're selling 3do games and instead of putting it on a press disc they just put it on a regular disc that you can buy from like walmart like a cdr media disc right so instead of pressing this like this disc on a you know finalized disc they took like a little ten dollar disc that you could go buy at the store and they put the game on there and they're charging what 69 dollars for this or 60 60 bucks so it's it's crazy the person that found this out was on uh x formerly known as twitter his name is todd gill retro frog or at todd's nerd cave um, but yeah he made a twitter post about limited run game is shipping out 3do games on cdr rather than press this and the best part they won't even work on real hardware so imagine you bought this game and limited run takes a really long time to get you your stuff sometimes so let's say you bought this set six eight months later you get it in and you find this out i would go crazy i would be i would be so livid oh man and what's bad about this is just that if nothing was said by todd gill limited run probably wouldn't have made a statement or anything about this um so it it really looks bad just because let's say in a world no one uh comes forth on social media or anything and says anything about it business would have just went on as usual and they would have kept things moving right it's only thanks to todd gill that something will change people will either get refunds or people will get an actual press disc like they uh, should have in the first place. And if you go on X, formerly known as Twitter, they have replied to some people. Um, we have informed affected customers and we are actively working with our disc replication partners to provide replacement press disc for our customers. Customers experiencing this issue can request a full refund by opening a support ticket at support.limitedrungames.com. Hey there, we are actively working with our disc. Yeah, same, same deal. So they, they are doing something about it. I don't think they should like be killed off or dead to right people are going to make mistakes well i don't want to call this a mistake because this was like known but there's there's so many factors and variables that are going on like like i said um i don't think they should be killed off like limit limited run she'll stay around right but uh like you know they they just need to own up to the mistake and I, it seems like they did that here I, like i said i don't it, literally like what this guy says is high high berry hazard i won't grab torch and pitchforks yet but I'm very much interested in what limited run games have to say for themselves after selling CDR burnt games as their physical media. Yeah, so, and it could be a situation where you have limited, this is just, this is basically an example that I'm, that I'm thinking, right? So you have limited run games, right? And they're doing their thing, right? And then you have like a vendor, maybe they have some, some vendor that they send the, the requirements like, hey, we need uh, this game on CDs, right? And so that other vendor does it and th they send it back to Limited Run or directly to the customer. Maybe something like that happens. I don't know. Like, 
I could just see where something went wrong because they're talking to like multiple companies and one company is like, oh, we'll do it the lazy way this time, you know? So it, it could happen. Like I said, I don't think this is something they should be killed for. And uh, like I said, I, I like what they do just because I've, I've bought multiple games from Limited Run uh, and th those games I wouldn't be able to get physical anywhere else. So it is, you know, I would like these guys to stay, <laughs> stay in business, but obviously they need to like, they just, this just needs to be, they need to be held responsible is all I'm trying to say. They need to be held responsible and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Last story of the day, and Nintendo takes down more than 8,500 clones of the Switch emulator Yuzu with a single DMCA notice. The notice was filed at GitHub this week and wiped out a large number of Switch emulators. I think uh, Ryujinix is doing a really good job of doing their emulator, and I hope their work is able to continue. It seems like anything Yuzu, unless it's underground, is just going to be killed off. I think there was another uh, news article not too long ago with uh, Discord just basically nuking all like yuzu emulators or whatever um, and people had a lot of their stuff posted there, updates and everything so that's a lot of information just lost and we probably don't have to read the whole thing but basically like yuzu is gone um any like fork or any like of that lingering code is just going to be attacked like relentlessly by nintendo they don't want to see it anymore they don't want people forking it they don't want people messing with that uh yuzu is is probably dead unless people are working on it like on the underground and not saying anything about it uh i feel like that's the only way uh yuzu can survive and don't get me wrong yuzu was a it was a great emulator it was super good a lot of games you could play on pc like at 60 frames that you can't even do that on uh, the switch right so that was that was cool but i just i think there's so much bad blood in history with yuzu that skeletons in their closet that we don't know what the heck was going on that Nintendo just, they can just shut it down at a moment's notice. So it's unfortunate, and I would like to see a, uh, a more refined version of Yuzu, but we still have Ryujinix, and it's not moving as fast as Yuzu, but I think you give it like three, five years, maybe longer than that, and it'll be, it'll be a good emulator. Um, and I'm in no rush. Um, I'm sure some people are probably in a rush, but I hope someone is able to just take Yuzu, take that code and work on it, you know, just like subtly in the background, not saying anything online or whatever. And then just like one day, boom, 10, 15 years now, release it and just drop off the face of the earth just because it kind of sucks that it's going to be gone. Right. But like I said, there's Regenix. So hopefully we can get that in the future working just as good as Yuzu. That would be really cool. Well, that's all the gaming news I have for today. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you thought the video was bad, give it a thumbs down. Boo, who, who is this guy? Get him off stage. But um, if you made it this far into the video, you know, thank you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, Beyond Plug and Play. It's awesome, it's great, just like you, baby. Um, but like I said, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. What do you think about Nintendo shutting down like every single Yuzu fork on GitHub? What do you think about League of Legends new anti-cheat Vanguard? Uh, and what do you think about limited run games selling CDRs for a full $60? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.